Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 147, Nasdaq's up 130, SP's up 30, gold contract up $2.10, traded at 1866 an ounce. We got silver up 50 up five cents, $25.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $80.89 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year right now up seven ticks, trading at 130.17. The 30-year down 14 at 161.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar's off 70 ticks, trading 95.10. Euro is out here at a price point of 114. The British pound is at 134, and the yen is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what we did yesterday is this. You had a sideways move out here yesterday, kicking into the weekend. Bottom line, wants higher price. You get 29 million shares traded. We came down with the 69. You know, the bottom line is that my take is we're going to go after these highs again. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out, man. Um, you set up in the right time of the year, folks. Uh, it's Thanksgiving next weekend or the weekend afterwards. The bottom line, going into Thanksgiving, going to the holidays, markets just like it. They're, they're happy. They're happy campers. NDX 100. We take a look at the uh, three Qs out here. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs right now. That's up 375. You're at uh, 394.36. And we'll, bottom line, we'll see uh, exactly uh, how it wants to handle this high. If we take a look at some of the leaders in there, uh, Micron Tech is up 4%. You get, doc, uh, you get DocuSign. Yeah, DocuSign is up 4%. 4 PayPal, 3.5. Netflix, 3.2. Taken away from it. Tesla down 3%, uh, 3.5%. Peloton off 2 uh, if we go back to Micron Tech and to take a look at Micron, folks, okay, it's blowing away a B point, blowing away with volume. Bottom line, wants higher price, and you know it's a this is a big ABC structure on the way up. Seventy six is approximately sixty five, so you got what? That's eleven points. We're talking uh, eighty, approximately eighty four. Right now, you're at seventy seven. So there's some juice out here. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at it. Uh, for Friday, I'll take it all, man. <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that gold wants to trade up to this 1925 uh, area, so it's going to be intriguing. Uh, it's set up really nice right now, man. We had that monster sign of strength on Wednesday. Uh, you get lower yesterday, had light volume. Today, you're pushing into highs, and you got, you're going to have uh, almost 200,000 contracts. That's what you need in order to get up into this uh, 1922. Uh, and I suspect what we actually have going here is that we just may go right to this 2,500. It's, I mean, when you take a look at a longer-term chart, that's how that baby is set up. Let's go to our man Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you making it? I'm doing great. Well, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. I know I was trying to take you at the end of yesterday, and uh, but guess what, man? You're right back, and I love it. We're right back at it. Well, like, it's like welcome to the land of ice cream and cupcakes. It's all good, right? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. So uh, not to put any um, downer on it, I'm, I'm, do you see anything? I haven't talked to you for a little while. I haven't listened to you. Have you do you see anything in the real estate sector that, or any sector for that matter that, that could throw a, a nice bucket of ice water on this Uh this party, it just seems so, like you say, go on forever. And, you know, some of the stories I hear in the ethos are, you know, they're not good stories, but I just thought I'd ask you in, in terms of a general sense. When you say, um, you, you, tell, tell me a couple bad stories. Well, the other grand story would be one. Um, I know that that has, it feels that, like it has some. That's in China, to though. It go ahead. I say that's in China. Right, but I mean, in a lot of cases, the, those uh, whether their bonds are held in in a lot of uh, pension funds in this country, and I'm just that would be one of them. And then, just in as far as the uh, the debt being taken on our GDP to. Um, you know, debt to GDP, I, I'm just kind of wondering if you have any sense that the, the party could end, you know, almost like COVID. I, it was almost like the party was rolling then, 
and then uh, COVID came along like a black swan, I guess we can call it. Oh, for sure. And yeah. um, right. just just your general so, sense. So I mean, it, it's, it no, doesn't it's, seem it's a, to be like convincing eyes, but with all the problems, it seems like it just keeps marching forward. Yeah, I, well, I agree with you. I just don't see all the problems. Um, you know, COVID is a monster problem, still is, will be for a bit. Um, the Evergrande deal, that could have been a monster deal, okay, I suspect. Um, I don't, I, I think what's going to happen, yeah, there's going to be losses. Um, there's going to be funds that lose money, that's for sure. Um, it's certainly not, it's not going to, you know, tank our market. Um, what, real, what China okay. actually just did um, three days ago is that they just opened up the financing again for all their developers over there on the state banks. Okay. And specifically inside of that, folks, what they did is that when they opened it up, they're going to allow the state banks to give the developers money in order to pay off dollar bonds outside of China. So, you know, China knows they, they, they know that they've built a, you know, a, <laughs> a facade and, you know, a bubble beyond belief. There's no doubt about that. Um, that that there, though, is, is going to, you know, smooth that out. I think that's going to be a problem. I think you're on to that. And I think it's a problem. But I, I, it certainly is not going to tank our markets. Real estate, I would say, in the whole United States, um, you know, down in St. Pete, Tampa, these things are still cash flow. And even though things are getting more expensive in, in a big way. So, okay. I mean, I think, here, just stay with us a second, all right? Because I just had a friend Shall come back go. from uh -huh. New York City. Stay right there, folks. We get the Dow Industrials right now up 158, Nasdaq's up 139, S&P's up 31. We'll come right back, folks.